Hello there. Uh, today we're here to talk about binary trees, and to do that, uh, Augusto, my colleague, is uh, is here to show us a small introduction to binary trees, and to be more precise, to binary search trees. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So uh, there's a since it's a topic that's a bit more um, uh, difficult to comprehend. We have a few images ready to mm -hmm. to show you at the same time that the explanation is uh, is ongoing. Um, well, actually, uh, do you, would you like to tell us what it is first? Okay, so um, a binary tree is basically a node with a left and a right child. Um, and a binary search tree, specifically, um, it has the property that the left child is always uh, less than the parent and the right child is always greater than the parent or equal. Okay. Well, since uh, it might be a bit hard to picture, yeah, there's an image ready. Yeah. Uh, there we go. No, not this one. This one. There okay. we go. Yeah. So. Yeah. So you can see here you have the four in the root. We picture the the trees as an invert tree. So the root is in the top and the leaves are in the bottom. Um, you, you see the four in the root. Then you have to the left and the 2, the node with the value 2, there is less than the 4, there is a parent, mm -hmm. and you have the 6 and the right child of the 4, because it's, it's greater than the 4. Okay. And uh, this, this data structure is really useful for doing searches. Searches, so, yeah. optimal searches. Optimal search. So let's say I was looking for number 3. So okay. can you explain like the process? Okay, so if you're going for the tree, um, you you will start in the root, and then um, you will compare the the value that you're looking for with the root. That's three is less than four, so you you already know that you don't need the right child, the the right subtree. So so you go to the left. You find the you find the two. And you know that the tree is right to the to the two, so you you forget about the left child of the two. And then you arrive. And then you are, you arrive to the tree, so you can see the the number of uh, comparisons that you had to do to find the tree. It was much less than if you had to to compare with each node of the tree. Okay. So that's that's the the important thing to remember about binary search trees. So if, for example, now if I were to look for the seven, I will always go to the right. Is that correct? Yeah, exactly. If for the seven, you will compare it with the four. Seven is f bigger than four. Then you go to right. You find the six and the seven is bigger than six. And you go to the right. Yeah, and then you find so your seven. Yeah, you find the seven and you ignore more than half of the tree. So okay. that's really powerful. All right. So now if you don't mind, can you uh, show us what it looks like in a, in a code, in a, in a program? Yeah, of course, I will show you. So I will open the terminal first. Yeah, go ahead. We, um, we will give more, more space. Okay. So, test. Let go. Uh, as always, we, we start with the package main. We define the type first, type node. Okay. Um, there is a structure. We already said that we have a left and a right child. Uh, those are uh, pointers to nodes too. Mm, and each node has a data element. And in this case, we will use an int, but you can use any other data type. And now um, we are going to define a function to do the insertion. Okay. Do we define it as insert. The this receives the root node of the tree. And there's a pointer to a node, and the element you want to insert. Okay. And we return the, uh, a node, a pointer yeah. to a node. Okay. Yeah. And 
For this example, uh, I will use recursivity, but you can you can use loops as well. Okay, okay. So we think if the root is nil, then we return a new node with a, a data type as the element. So we define the the address of the a node with the data element equal to the element. Okay. Um, in other case, you will compare the element that you want to insert with the with the data in the root. So if the element is less than the and the data on the root, you go left to oh, the node. Okay. You go so the root, the left, the node, the left child of the root is the result of the insertion in the left. the left child mm. of the element. Okay. And then you do the, the other one, the, yeah. uh, the other case. For the, the other right case uh, is okay. it's symmetric. It's exactly the same line as before, just switching uh, left for right. Okay. And uh. after this, we only have to return the root. Sorry. And that's it for the insertion. Okay. I think so. Then now we will, uh, before continue, we will define a printing function so we can print the tree. Um, so you can see what we're doing. Exactly. Um, so this function uh, receives a tree node, a root node. And if the root node is nil, uh, we don't do anything, we just return. Okay. Um, then we, we do FMT print line of the data in the root. So we print the data. And then we go, we use recursivity again okay. to, to print the left child. And then we print the right child. Okay. Nice. And uh. that's it for this function. So now, now you use the main and you yeah. go. Now we will use we will write the main for testing these functions. We will use the image. Um, the example on the, the image, you can build the same tree. Exactly. Okay. Just to be easier to to show. So we define the the root. Okay. And then we insert the root value. Now, does you're gonna insert the values on each on each node right now, right? Yes. The order has its importance. Yeah, yeah. The ordering is important because to keep the same structure, it has to be somewhat in the same order that we find it in the tree. So each level has to be in the same order. Okay. In f for the root, we f first we insert the four um, to define the the root node, but um, for the next uh, step we can insert either the two or the six, and the root will will keep he its uh, its form either way. So in this case, I will in we will introduce first the two, and then. I will introduce the 
I will introduce the six. Okay. So now uh, next level, we have four choices. We can either insert the one, three, five, or seven. In any uh, order that we want? In any order, yeah. So I will introduce the three first. Then then the five the seven sorry no worries and the then the one yes exactly and after this we print the tree and now we can save it, go to the terminal and go run Tesco. Okay, so we have the output here. Ah, okay. So you can see here the the order in in which it was printed it has to be with the with the way we define the printing functions. So we gave pr uh, priority after the root. So we mm. print first the root, then we go to the left, and only and at last we print the right. And okay. we can see here that we print the root, then the left subtree, and in the end the right subtree. Okay. So the left was prioritized by your printing function. Exactly. In this case, in this case. but uh, there's many way to print. There's many ways to print trees. So. So uh, that's you can you can ca change this function. Okay. You need to adapt it depending on the exercises. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you, Augusto. Yeah. That wasn't uh, something easy to explain, but uh, that's actually a pretty good introduction, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, good luck to the ones who are gonna take upon that challenge and uh, all those exercises. And we'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Yeah.